So in this video, we're going to complete example one. We're going to express the following in simplest form, and we're going to do it by following our two steps, multiplying the numbers and collecting the pronumerals. So starting with question A, our numbers are two and three. Two times three will equal six. And when we collect our pronumerals A and B, which just basically means put them next to each other, we get six a b let's now look at question b looking first at our numbers we've got a five and we've got a three five times three is 15 and we now collect our pro numerals we have an a a b a c and a d we just put them next to our number a b c d and we get a solution of 15 a b c d Moving now on to question C, our numbers are 2 and 7. When we multiply them, we get 14. 2 times 7 is 14. Let's now look at our pronumerals. We have an X, a Y, another Y, and a Z. So we had one X, but we had two Ys. So we need to go Y to the power of 2. And then we had... 1z. So we get 14xy squared z. Now moving on to question d. This time we've got a negative number, so we've got negative 3 as well as positive 4. So 3 times 4 is 12, and because of the negative, we need to put a negative in front of our 12. We've got c squared here, which basically means we've got two c's, a d, another c, and another D. When we look at this, we've got two C's and another C, so we've actually got three C's here. So we've got to do C to the power of three, and we had two D's. So we need to go D to the power of two, giving us a solution of negative 12 C to the power of three, D to the power of two. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.